Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a grass text effect using GIMP just like the one that you are seeing right now. I'm going to press the tab key to unhide the docs and I'm going to close this. So I've opened this image in GIMP using the file open option. Info about this image is in the description. It's a grass tab view and the first thing I want to do is create a background. So click here to create a new layer. And I'm just going to type star 2 to multiply the width. Click here, then star 2 to multiply the height. And then just click OK. I'm going to zoom out. Then go to image, fit canvas to layers. Then I'll click on this option to move this layer behind the grass layer. Then I'll go to edit fill with background color and this will fill the layer with white and I'll select this layer right click and add an alpha channel then with the move tool I'm going to position it over here and I'll grab the text tool click and type grass control A to select the text and here I'll type 480 pixels also I'll make the text bold then again with the move tool I'm going to position it around here then I'll right click on the grass layer and select alpha to selection then I'll just delete this text layer I'm going to hit control I to invert the selection or you can do that by going to the select menu invert then the delete key then control shift A to deselect Again, you can do that by going to the select menu and choosing none. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually zoom in a little bit. Next, I'll select the eraser tool and adjust the size of the brush to just 10 pixels. Now, have in mind that this number depends on how big is the text. So, in this case, the text is 480 pixels. If it was twice the size, you need a bigger brush. If it was smaller, you need a smaller brush. Next, I'll select the anti-erase option and I'm going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs and select Paint Dynamics. And here from this option, I'm going to create new dynamics. And in this dialog, I'm going to select Size, Fade and click this to check it. And then I'll go back to the Dynamics options and adjust the fade length to around 30 and now just click outside one of the letters and drag towards it and you see what this creates and just click drag change the angle click closer to the text click further from the text and also have in mind that this uh, fade here it doesn't have to be exactly 30 you can experiment with this. You can also change the brush size every now and then to have some variety. And another thing, try to follow the grass direction. For example, here in this letter S, you see how the grass goes. So I can just click like this and try to follow the direction. You won't be able to always do that, but whenever you can do it, and I'm going to pause here because this is going to take a lot of time. So I finished painting and you see how my text looks now. Next thing I want to do is add a shadow and the way I'm going to do it is just duplicate the layer. Alpha to selection. Then I'm going to click here to bring out the cover selection dialog. And from here I'll choose this cover. It's a dark green cover. You can see the uh, HTML notation here. You can copy this if you want to, or you just select a dark green cover, not too green, but also not entirely black. Click OK, and then go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Cover. Control Shift A to deselect. Send this layer behind the layer with the grass. Go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And here I'm going to use the default 5 pixels. When this is finished, you see how the text looks. Now with the move tool, 
make sure you select move the active layer option you have selected the layer with the shadow and now I can move this for example in this direction you see how the effect looks let's try the other direction and it's entirely up to you where exactly you want to position the shadow another quick tip that I want to give you try to use bigger images with bigger width and height I'm talking about the image of the grass if I grab the scale tool now and click on the image you'll see the original width and height of the image and this is not a very big image so try to take bigger photographs or use bigger image you'll get a more high quality effect and one more thing we can do we can adjust the color of the text if you go to the colors menu and select hue saturation I'm going to use the master option and if I drag this towards left a little bit you see the text will become greener so you can experiment with this if you want to also if I drag it uh, around here I can make the text uh, look like the grass is dead but of course we need to also do this with the shadow so let's select the shadow layer go back to cowards hue saturation and repeat the same with the shadow do something like this then click ok and now this looks more like a straw or something like that so that's it for this video i hope that it was useful if it was subscribe like it leave a comment visit my channel and that's it for now bye